are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 4th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather drive through Wednesday, rain Thursday, and maybe snowflakes for parts of North Alabama Sunday night or early next week. A lot on the board today, a very active pattern. So let's dive in. There's the upper ear look this afternoon. Got a little feature coming through the deep south. The uh, main shortwave energy is now east of the state. Got a few high clouds in place across the state, but otherwise lots of sunshine today, and it feels pretty good. We've got temperatures mostly in the upper 50s, a few spots managing 60. It's 60 in Birmingham, Anniston, and Tuscaloosa, and around the region seeing some 70s down in parts of Louisiana, so no excessively cold air across the deep south today. There's the watch warning map. We have uh, dense fog issues still for parts of Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin and scattered winter weather issues back in the northwestern states. But, of course, down here, things are quiet. A marginal risk of severe storms through tonight over parts of northern California, of all places, with a Pacific storm coming in. Tomorrow, no thunderstorms across the country. And on day three, which is Wednesday, there could be some thunder through parts of southeast Texas, Louisiana, southwest Mississippi. But at this point, severe storms are not expected. This is the precipitation for the next seven days, valid through Monday morning of next week. About a half inch for Alabama. And again, the next chance of rain for us will be during the day Thursday. Let's go through modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. A trough moving off the Atlantic coast. Here we have a northwest flow aloft, and it should be a beautiful day. The sky mostly sunny with a high in the mid-50s, very close to seasonal values for this time of the year. This is Wednesday. Again, lots of sunshine, mid-50s. We have rain off to the west, and that feature will bring rain in here Thursday. Don't expect any thunder. Don't expect any severe weather. Rain probably not too heavy, about one-half inch expected. And this is Thursday night at midnight. A very deep, cold core upper low moves right on top of us. And you know what we say, cold core upper low, weatherman's woe. Sometimes strange things can happen underneath those with dynamic cooling at the moment, relieving it all liquid. The rain diminishing Thursday night, and there might be a snowflake somewhere, no doubt about that. But again, the thermal values in the low level suggest mostly rain and no impact or accumulation if we see a snowflake Thursday night or early Friday morning. Then during the day Friday, the sky clears. Uh, we're colder. The high will be around 50. Uh, snow likely for parts of North Carolina on Friday if this verifies, east of the state, but again for us, gradual clearing. This is Saturday. should be a cool, dry day. We start the day around 30. The high will be around 50. The sky sunny. Sunday, here comes the next system. And there's a little cold air on the northern flank of that, and this is suggesting there might be some snow around Shreveport and the Arklatex region. And this is Sunday night at midnight, and this is, again, deterministic output from the GFS, and it depicts that thickness values could be low enough for snow for about the northern third of the state. This is the European. It's a little slower. This is Monday morning at 6 o'clock, and it pretty much shows the same thermal values, maybe cold enough for snowflakes for about the northern third of Alabama. And this would be Sunday night or Monday morning. But as you often hear me say, it's best in a case like this not to look at this deterministic black and white situation. Let's look at the range of possibilities with the ensemble. Uh, this is coming from the GFS ensemble, and you average out the members, the mean, and you come up with this. This is a probabilistic output. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow through Monday afternoon. And you can see most of North Alabama in that darker blue. That's 10 to 20 percent. That's not especially high. This is the European. It's a little more aggressive. But again, for most of North Alabama, the probabilistic outlook, outlook is 10 to 20 percent. Could this change? Absolutely. But there's no need to get too excited at this point. This thing is, is six to seven days away. And we all know it's just hard to be specific with something this far in advance. It's something to watch for now for the snow fans. And then during the day Monday, a deep trough over the eastern states, and as the system pulls away, could be a good snow for parts of the eastern states, and we are cold. Uh, if this verifies Monday, we might see a high only of about 40 degrees. 
Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 14th, the trough coming into Texas and rain moving in with that feature. So again, the wave train continues. Very active flow pattern here. This is the snow output from the GFS Ensemble. And again, we're looking at the event uh, Sunday night and Monday. And you can see that uh, uh, about maybe six or seven of the 30 members are suggesting evidence of, of snow and evidence of maybe another chance later in the month. So, hey, snow lovers, the pattern is interesting. We'll put it that way. Here's rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean about an inch and a half between now and the 20th of January. And this is from the National Blend of Models. Temperatures, you can see, uh, highs in the upper 40s, Friday, Saturday. Get the idea, Monday of next week will be colder than this. It's got a high of 50 here. Uh, parts of North Alabama could stay in the 30s much of the day. But generally speaking, the number is looking pretty close to average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.